Today's video is short, but it is on the new moon in Aries here on the spring equinox in the northern hemisphere, fall equinox in the southern hemisphere. We don't want to forget about you because I know some of you are watching from down there. And we just entered the Aries birthdays. I'll pull up a chart, talk about a couple things about this new moon, and then a little bit of a rant about what I think you should pay attention to this week. I'll switch over to a chart here. You will see the chart for the new moon. It happened at 1023 a.m. Pacific time, March 21st. I'm making this video several uh, hours after it. I will also show you something here, and I'll, I'll make sure it's pink for you all. I will circle this area here, and this is all the airy stuff. If I go highlight around there, we have the moon at zero degrees, the sun at zero, Mercury at five degrees. That's very important, by the way. Chiron still in Aries, Jupiter still in Aries. The reason why I think it's important to look at this Mercury here is because I think it's a big part of the week in this new moon. The new moon in Aries, we have this fresh fire energy. A lot of us have been waiting for this. We want it to move forward in our lives or in the Aries part of our charts. Um, it's spring in enormous hemispheres. There's this feeling of like, give me the light. Uh, 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 no more winter time. In fall, you have a sense of change happening too. It's not saying there isn't a feeling of moving forward in the fall. There is. Just the leaves are falling. That's all. <laughs> so, um, but Mercury's key in this new moon chart. And the reason is, is because it is uh, Aries. This new moon in Aries is naturally ruled by the planet Mars. Mars initiates impulse, instinct. It's the engine of the chart. If you're looking at anybody's chart, you will look to their Mars to see how where the engine is. In this case, we look at this new moon chart and Mars is still in the sign of Gemini. And it's been there since last August. A long story. I've done a video on this. It, it's, Mars has been initiating through the mind and through the, the, the mutable mind of Gemini. Two, three, four different things. Wanting quickness, sharpness, the curiosity, pushing curiosity into learning, into absorbing information. This also deals with communication. And Mars in Gemini is ruled, in a sense, by Mercury. And at this point, it is that Mercury, I'm not doing the best here. How about we do an arrow? How about that? How about an arrow for some of y'all? We go right there to that Mercury in Aries in a fire sign that deals with impulse here this week. And it's been building up the last couple of weeks. The communication a lot of people are have is going to be raw and at times emotional and dealing with outward wounds. And at the same time, it's done with this new moon in Aries, this beginning of the astrological year in a fire sign it's about reclaiming and showing one's will in the world and it's doing it through words ideas opinions and how it calculates how one comes up with it and then how it's communicated either through verbal words or or many other ways of communicating through our bodies through through paintings through anything creative i i bring up body here because i think a lot of times with aries energy it needs to move Fire needs to kind of, in Aries, needs to kind of go from here to there. It's not mutable like Gemini, but it's, it needs to initiate something and to take something on and go. And a lot of times, and I'll bring up a, a more kind of a perspective of, of pushing and sweating out. And the reason is, is because Chiron here, the wounded healer is involved with this new moon. And it's been a story for the last month and the last year plus for a lot of Aries people or people have planets in Aries. So here there's an open in communication talking about one's wounds and the healing of one's wounds and and the medicine and salve that they want from the world that they have or they have created for themselves in a sense a form of self-love that aries is showing us this week but it's a little hot and a little triggery because i think of this mars in gemini which is pushing the word in many ways and it has a tendency to get scattered i think this week everybody feels like they want to move forward in some sort of part of their life or all of their life or they want something new and it's there for us to walk through that door this is a big opening of the door week into a new world and new life type of feeling but i would say to be careful this week because when we get to later on in the week this Mars that we I keep pointing to in, in Gemini is going to leave here 
on the Saturday. It's um, let me get the date straight for you. It's on the 25th at 445 a.m. Pacific. And it's going to go. Mars is going to go into the water sign of cancer. So we have this raw communication with Aries and the cardinal sign. And then Mars goes into a, a uh, water. A, uh, we still have Mercury, Chiron, Jupiter, uh, the sun in Aries. So there's a lot of initiatory energy. But I think it could be very um caustic at times and super sensitive because of Mars entering cancer. What I will tell you is a solution is this place and I'll make it blue. No, I'll make it green is here is Venus in Taurus. It's been there for the last week. This is where Venus loves to be. It's tranquil. It moves through her senses in the beautiful garden of Taurus wants to indulge, chill, slow down. Venus loves green, loves green, be amongst nature, find a way to uh, listen to through your senses with your body as an antenna to gauge whether or not you should be super forward in conversation. And if you do, if you are this way this week, to think about the harmony that could be found, whether it's a conversation you have with significant other, friends, family, or the outside world, we understand the will of Mercury and Aries and wanting to show and express itself. At the same time, there's a way to do it. A little bit of Venus, throw in a little bit of Venus, tactile Venus, little style and tactile through the smell, through colors and sound bring in that venus and taurus to help you balance the initiatory caustic energy of the week that is my quick way of doing things that's all i'm going to keep it here i'm going to get rid of this chart here and but do this and get back to my face um for any of you who've watched my channel i, I know you've been waiting for some stuff i'm working on a saturn and pisces video eventually there's a pluto video is going to come out down the line within weeks uh, rather than that, thanks for listening to my podcast. If it's the first time you're here, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. I usually do live streams. You can look on my front page of my YouTube, but I do live astrological chart readings on my live streams. I'll be doing one within the next month. Um, besides that, I've added a Saturn and Pisces uh, uh, sessions on my uh, website along with Pluto and Aquarius. So you can get a Saturn and Pisces reading at a discounted rate. You'll see it there along with the Pluto and Aquarius reading. Added those until the end of April. For now, my friends, happy new moon, happy equinox, and that door that you see in front of you, open it up, take a peek through, and walk into it. Until next time, I'll see you on the next video.